Almost 20 years after its release, Avatar The Last Airbender holds a very special place in most of our hearts. Why is that the case? There's no shortage of videos analyzing Avatar on YouTube. They've pointed out many things that deserve praise, but something I haven't seen talked about enough is the fight scenes in Avatar. Because I think the quality of Avatar's fight scenes permeates into everything else, influencing things like the world, story building, pacing, and characters. And about a week ago, I released a video essay talking about Avatar's fight scenes. Specifically, I argued that they were so important to the show that without the fight scenes, you wouldn't have a story. Primarily because they serve the plot in a way that most other action scenes don't. And while Avatar's fight scenes are unique compared to others, I also think they're better. There are very few shows out there that have had the same amount of emotional impact on me as Avatar The Last Airbender, and I think that Avatar's fight scenes are a crucial part of what makes it so special. My name is Pei, and today we're talking about why Avatar's fights are still so good. There are two points that we're going to be talking about today. The first is blocking and choreography, and the second is the magic system. A lot of modern animation has remarkable fight scenes. They're beautiful, incredibly well animated, and very impressive. However, I think that there's an entire video that could be made talking about how they hide behind flair, often using a lot of spectacle to cover up the fundamentals of what makes a good fight. But it's not that simple, it's a bit subjective. Sometimes spectacle is enough to completely engage an audience. However, I really enjoyed every frame of painting's take. In their video, they highlighted how skilled Jackie Chan is, and a lot of Hong Kong cinema, at building a compelling fight scene. And if we take a second to draw a comparison, if you've seen an early 2000s Hollywood action film, you'll know that they're chock full of shaky cam and quick cuts, which results in these scenes being almost unconsumable by a modern standard. Because my favorite part of an amazing fight comes down to the fundamentals, choreography, and blocking. And I don't think I'm alone in that sentiment. John Wick is lauded as one of the best modern Hollywood action films, because it famously navigates extraordinary blocking and choreography. This also applies to the most recent Oscar-winning Best Picture film, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And while Hollywood is starting to catch up, over 18 years ago, we saw the release of Avatar The Last Airbender. So let's apply that lens of looking at a fight's fundamentals of choreography and blocking to Avatar. In my video from last week, I brought up the fact that each bending style was based off of an actual form of martial arts. This came with hiring a martial arts specialist who worked as a consultant and someone they could record live references of for their animation. The specialist's name was Sifu Kisu, and he worked as a choreographer with the directors to create remarkably clever and fun scenes. Modern animation is a growing art that continues to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. And as older animation antiquates, part of what makes Avatar so timeless is its remarkable choreography. In Avatar, it's often very clear what is going on in a fight. We have long, open shots where we can see everyone's full body. We don't hide behind quick cuts and shaky cam. When the camera moves, it's often very inspired. When actions are exaggerated, it's still rooted in real human movement. And these systems of support don't limit Avatar's creativity, but rather encourage it. And suddenly we see this really cool exploration of a lot of subtle aspects of fights, using airbending to get up instead of just normally standing up, for example, or surfing across the water in the night on a block of ice. Which leads nicely into the second point of today's video, the magic system. Bending as a magic system is incredibly clever because the secret to Avatar's effectiveness is simplicity. I believe the most effective way to make a very deep and meaningful magic system is not to overcomplicate it. By simplifying the system itself and reducing the components of a magic system, it gives you more of an opportunity to cleverly explore what you have established. And while shooting lightning is really cool, redirecting it is even cooler. Time and time again across the series, Avatar explored its simplistic system to its greatest depths. And the most obvious way to highlight how amazing Avatar is, is to compare its fight scenes that I thought were remarkable, also to its fight scenes that I thought were very lackluster. I'm going to share an opinion that I think is probably controversial, but I feel will make sense the more you think about it. 
While Avatar's finale is breathtaking and a very beautiful way of wrapping up a complex story, I believe the final fight between Ozai and Aang largely fails to do all the things I've been praising in this video. I understand that it's very hard to make an animated series and that there were a lot of expectations going to the finale, so this isn't meant to be a criticism of the creators. But think about all the remarkable ways that all four bending styles could be used in conjunction, the depth that could be explored. Did a ball of death of air, water, earth, and fire all spinning around Aang very uninterestingly come to mind? Well, it didn't for me. I think this is a byproduct of the pursuit of shimmer and shine, the need to make a remarkable, big, fancy fight scene for the finale. But if you were to compare the Aang vs Ozai fight to the Katara and Zuko vs Azula fight, I think one is more memorable. Or, funnily enough, even if you compare the first part of the Ozai Aang fight to the ending, when he uses Toph's technique in earthbending in an almost airbender way to maneuver around Ozai and overcome him, I think one is so much cooler than the other. And Avatar is chock full of those moments. Even just looking again at the finale, the way Katara outsmarts Azula is so cool. Because Avatar's fight scenes really are special.